Welcome, welcome, welcome. Again, we have another great night set up for you all this evening to take a deeper dive into the conversation on what is real hydration. And hydration means intracellular hydration. And the beauty of what we talk about here on this call is to give you some insight about how it is that you can take control of your own destiny. And we know that the quality of the air that you breathe matters. We breathe three to 4,000 gallons of air every day and take much of that for granted. And we know that in terms of drinking enough water, water can be consumed, but it is that it has to be delivered. And that's what we're gonna talk about tonight, the delivery of that water. But the water is the carrier of all the nutrients. If we cannot have the water delivering to the intracellular, that means into the nucleus of the cell, our cells are still, um, let's call it uh, dysfunctioning because they are not properly uh, so-called supported. So with that comes dis-ease in the body. And so there are processes that we call degeneration. And there are stages of cellular degeneration. Somebody called today and said, you know what? When you start taking a look at any dis-ease, it has to do with the fact that um, our cells are not fed. And that's where it all begins. That's why this call has gone on for several weeks now and us continuing to invite other people to hear about how it is that we can go from degenerative states of health to regenerative states of health. And that's by taking a look at this conversation. And it is all all about hydration. And so I have the great privilege to introduce to you Craig Stevens. Craig Stevens has been in this circle of um, understanding the quality of the water that we drink and air, uh, air filtration, but not only that, water filtration for 33 years. And for the past 13 years, he has also kind of taken a little segue from just filtration, knowing that it was um, needed to be filtered, but what about this molecular structure? What about hydration and hydrogenation? And so he's gonna break that down for us all tonight and talk about the elements to um, take note about. And with that being said, the solution. So Craig Stevens, I know you were a swimmer. You were, you know, in utero, living in water. You're, you love water. It's all a part of who we are. We are primarily water. And so I wanna say, take it away because we're talking, about what we need to dive into, and that is the quality of the water. That Thank we you, drink. everybody, for joining, Liddy and Lori and Steve and everybody and, and guests here. Um, what I want to talk about is what, why is this water different? Why is the water we're talking about different? Well, we have our unit. It's called our living water unit. I affectionately call it my fountain of youth at the faucet. It's right there back on the table here. And what what the unit does when you run water through it, just any safe water from any safe source, alkalized, ionized, micro clustered. What Liddy was talking about is true. I'm doing a lot of research for 13 years. I found out that hydrogen is the only, first of all, if you don't know, it's the smallest element in the periodic table. And hydrogen is the most important. Without hydrogen, nothing works on the planet. When we ingest hydrogen in water, in water, which is what we're doing, putting hydrogen in water, it passes straight through the gut wall and into every cell membrane. Hydrogen is the only thing that can pass straight into your cells without any buffering. If you take any supplementation, the hydrogen will transport it right through, but it has to be attached to hydrogen. So let me show you a couple of things here. So we're um, what the unit is doing, it's taking tap water and turning it into natural god made water now you notice running water is all white oxygen which is acidic comes out into the air but hydrogen binds together that's how we get this this and that's hydrogen rich natural running water so we're recreating that why is that important well, let me show you something there's the actual h2o molecule big Thing of oxygen with these Mickey Mouse ears of hydrogen, we're actually splitting through electrolysis the hydrogen and oxygen, 
and we're bringing the oxygen and taking it and diverting it down the lower hose. The upper hose, we can increase the hydrogen by pointing 8.5, 9, 9.5. We can adjust that. Why is that important? Well, I'll show you something here. So we know what the structure of water is. We know it's a lot of oxygen with a little hydrogen. So we're basically just splitting off that. Let me show you. When we say micro clustering, that's the most important part of this te technology. It's making the water come apart. Running water does that, of course, naturally by running through the stream and breaking the water into pieces microscopically. You can do it another way. You can heat water to make tea. We all know that to make tea, you have to boil the water and then you steep the tea or coffee that it passes through. Did you know you can do that cold? Yes, cold. So let me explain that. When you drink water from a stagnant source bottle or the faucet, water clumps together, it's called surface tension. So if you sit water in a bottle long enough, it'll all clump together and when you pour it out, you can't make tea. You could put a tea bag in that all day long and bounce it up and down, do the hokey pokey, spin it around back and forth, nothing. Run the same water through our machine, take the same tea bag, and put it in our water. And in about 60 seconds, you have fully steeped tea. We're making the water smaller. What does that mean? Stagnant water is like a softball under a microscope and running water looks like that. It's called hexagonal water. Why is that important? Because the, the hydrogen is carried into the body with the water. The water's the carrier. Let me show you something that's easier to see. So we showed a softball. So look, I got a cup here. I put a tennis ball in it. Not too much fits in there. Golf ball, yeah, I guess I could fit a couple in there. But let me show you what we're doing to the water. <laughs> we're structuring it to the point where it gets ridiculously small. So I, I'm going to take these and go, look how many a molecular structure that will all fit through our gut wall because I've made it small enough to pass right through. The machine is splitting the water. It's using the hydrogen to raise the pH. Let me show you why I'm saying that. Water is measured in pH. Why, what does that mean? pH is potential hydrogen. That's how important hydrogen is. <laughs> Because when you look at the pH scale, seven is neutral, that's tap water. How do they get rainwater, which is five pH to seven? They put lye in the water. That's exactly what they do. They chemically raise it. How do they take Essentia? I'm not picking on Essentia, I'm just showing you. How do they make Essentia be 9.5 pH on the shelf? They filter tap water and they put baking soda in it. They chemically do it. We're doing it naturally by putting more hydrogen in the water. So the more hydrogen in the water, the higher the, the alkalinity gets. So it goes from seven, which is neutral, that's half oxygen, half hydrogen. Then it goes to eight, nine, 10. We're adding hydrogen. When you wanna go more acidic, you add oxygen and it goes green, yellow, that's five pH. That's rainwater, by the way. Rainwater is that. Nature, God cleans the air of acids by rain coming down and pulling the acids out of the air. Uh, soda is down here about three pH, yeah, orange. So I'm only showing you that to give you what we're doing. We're adjusting it, seven pH. We're taking the chemicals out. We're splitting the water, getting the oxygen, which is an oxidant. If you wanna age, you cut an apple in half, it turns brown because it's oxidizing. Your body's the same, we age and we oxidize with antioxidant or, or hydrogen, alkalinity, we're anti-aging. That's why I call it my fountain of youth in the faucet. I'll be 62 in July 13th. I weigh the same as I did when I graduated high school in 1978. I eat 5,000 calories a day. When I was in high school playing water polo, I ate about 10,000 calories a day. I love to eat. My body is absorbing the nutrition and getting rid of everything else. I'm not gaining weight, even though I'm eating a large amount but I don't shy away from fat. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I love my cheese. And anything you eat that has fat, when you're acidic, you store fat. When you're alkaline, when you raise your pH and you get your blood pH right, you burn fat. So if you wanna burn fat out of your body, you've got to 
be into ketosis, you've got to fat. Fat is the best energy, nine units of energy per gram. Carbs and protein are only four. And nobody wants to burn protein. We're supposed to keep that. So what I love about the water is I'm making it small. I'm raising the pH level by adding hydrogen. And I'm, the antioxidant property is unbelievable. Look, folks, that's 10 pH, dark purple. That's as high as you can get. I'm going to use an example. Blue-green is tap water with chemicals in it. When you filter them and put them in a bottle, like this water from Walmart, the Deer Park, not picking on Deer Park, it's just the cheap stuff. At the, so now it's yellow, which is 5 pH. That's 200 times more acidic. That's a logarithmic scale. When you go from 7 tap water down to 5, Rainwater is 5 pH. So what do you think it's going to this flimsy bottle? That much acidity in the water, oxygen is eating this bottle. So that's where microplastic comes from. You don't want to drink microplastic and you don't want to drink microaluminum from aluminum cans. So that's bottled water and rainwater is about 5 pH. Now, let me show you something else. It's critical. The more oxygen in the water, the more acidic, there's Sprite, soda, all sodas, Gatorade, Crystal Light, they make the water three pH. That's the pH of the battery acid in your car. So why would I want to ingest that? As you probably know, cancer eats three things, proven by the man that won the Nobel Prize in 1931, Dr. Otto Heinrich Warburg. Cancer eats sugar, acid, and oxygen. If you want to feed your cancer cells, that'll, that's the right stuff. Sugar, acid, and oxygen, it's full of it. Plus coloring and all these bad things. An example of how powerful acid is in the body. I'm going to take our beautiful 10 pH water, which is three, uh, 700 times more uh, alkaline than this soda. And watch, if you were to drink one cup of soda, 16 ounces, um, you have to drink 30 cups of our good structured alkaline, alkaline, sorry, alkalized water to counteract it. Let me prove that to you. I'm going to put one splash in this beautiful, look at that, orange. I put a half an ounce in there. The acid response is so powerful. You know when you eat, your stomach throws acid on the food to break it down. But when you drink natural water, like running from this machine, your body recognizes it as this natural water. It will not throw acid at it, and it will let it pass right through the gut wall. If you want to test what you drink at home, if it's going to get into your body, put a tea bag in it. If it will not make tea within minutes by passing through that small membrane of the tea bag, it is not getting in your body. The rate of differential is about 90% waste when you drink stagnant water, bottled water faucet water, 85 or 90% goes down the drain. When you drink our water after you've structured it, it's about 85 or 90% absorbed. It's completely the opposite. So if you wanna truly hydrate your body, you'll hear people say they can't afford to get something like this. Well, guess what? You're already spending the money, folks. The average human in America that's probably above seven years old, spend about $1,000 a year on what we drink, but nobody adds it up. I have an accountant, by the way, because I'm a business. <laughs> and your accountant will go, Lori and Steve, did you mean to spend $5,000 this year on two cups of Starbucks coffee a day for a year? What? <laughs> so when you have an accountant, they look at that. So you can look at five people in a house, all above seven or eight years old. They're spending $5,000 a year on drinking stuff that's not very good for their body. And they're wasting about 90% of it. So $5,000 in your mouth is $4,500 in the toilet. So you're not hydrating yourself. Would you ever do that if you were filling up a car, your car with 10 gallons of gas and 90% of it was falling out the tailpipe and not making your vehicle run? What Liddy said, it's not how much you drink, it's how much you absorb. It's not how much you eat, it's how much of the nutrition of that food and the minerals and the good things are you absorb. We're trying to help your body absorb. Our water will give a natural detoxification. Let me show you something. The man that invented the colonoscopy back in 45 years ago, Dr. Shinya, 
He actually used this, this type of water clinically. Dr. Shea's a colonoscopy, and he does not give people the saline solution that they give people before they go to colonoscopy in America, because he doesn't like that. It kills your flora and fauna. Let me answer something real quick. When you drink soda or anything with bubbles in it, I don't care what it is, champagne, soda, Perrier, sparkling water, whatever has bubbles in it, carbonation, that's carbonic acid. It actually kills the ability to digest food from your mouth all the way down your throat and into your stomach. Carbonation is carbonic acid. Look it up. Why would I drink something that's full of that? I never liked the way that tasted in my mouth. Well, it was, I found out later it was killing all my digestive enzymes. Not too good if you want to digest your food. Don't, if you don't know this, you're supposed to chew. They call it masticate in your mouth with those enzymes to start breaking the food down here before you swallow it where it begins to break down in the stomach. So look at this. Dr. Shinya has people come in before, look at all the grease and oil. And then he gives five gallons of the water. And that's five days later with a gallon a day. Pink is a brand new baby. That one is not as dramatic. This is what we see when people are really having, they're really clogged up, dried up in their body. Look at this. This lady is breast cancer, 45 years old, chronic constipation. Do you think, uh, Rochelle, anything nutritional is getting through that? No, not without a pickaxe. Five days later, one gallon a day of the structured water. That's what it looks like. Now you can absorb nutrition. People tell me when they drink the water, their energy level goes nuts because not only are they cleaning out and detoxifying the system, but they're pulling the nutrients out. All the bioavailable minerals are there. I have to scrub my bottles out every couple of days. I drink out of a glass, 20 ounce. Believe it or not, folks, I, I drink 12 of these a day. That's 240 ounces of water. That's two gallons of water. Why, Craig? Because my body just wants to be hydrated. No dry eye. No, no, you know, brain is fully functional. It's hydrated. The only size water, folks, that'll fit through the blood brain barrier is not stagnant pond water. It's structured, micro clustered. That's called hexagonal water, six molecules in a chain. The only smaller water there is, is when you heat it, it'll boil and steam. So steam is the only thing smaller than structured water. And water is unique, guys. You can freeze it solid or you can turn it into something that will pass into the air. But right before it does that, you get it down to the size that will fit through your gut wall. Um, and I showed this to Liddy and I show it to everybody when I do trade shows. That's my trade show exhibit to show the water off. And just let me show you really quickly. We know we can make it small. Let me prove to you what carbonation does very quickly. Got this, look at all the hydrogen in that water. That's the power, that's the antioxidant power. Hydrogen passes right through the cell membrane and carries all the nutrition into the cells. It's the only thing the body will allow to pass straight through. So I'm gonna put a half a cup in here to give room for carbonation. I'm showing this for a reason. It's the bubbles that's the problem in the, besides the sugar and the coloring and all that in soda. So if you know anybody that drinks a lot of sodas, they're not gonna be very healthy. Just shoot one shot of carbonation here. Carbonation is a gas, so it will come right out of the air. That's why if you leave a soda out, it goes flat. Our hydrogen will come out in the air. That's why you'd want to drink out of a sealed bottle. All I do is flip it and look at the hydrogen is but right there, still in the bottle. So I'm going to take this very quickly, put a half a cup. So you can buy these at Walmart. They're about $50, called a soda stream fountain unit. When you buy that, the, the people at Walmart always say, hey, Oh, you must really like soda. I said I soda, but I want to show people how it might not be that good for them. So watch one, two, three, four, five. I'll put them closer. One, two, three, four, five. I took our beautiful 10 pH super water, our fountain of youth at the faucet, which is the purple water. I shot one shot of carbonation, carbonic acid, 500 times more acidic. Do not drink water with carbonation in it. I'm just, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm educating. Look at that. That was one shot. Watch this. I'm going to pour the yellow in. And by the time I'm done pouring, the purple goes to yellow. That was 10 pH, 500 times more alkaline. And I just destroyed it with just by pouring that in. I'm only showing you this because the unit restructures the water. 
I could adjust the pH 8.5, 9, 9.5 for drinking. It makes cooking water. It makes sterilizing water. It even makes a toner that will rival Estee Lauder right from the machine. And so why are we talking about this? Because we've all been drinking dead water. Folks, God made our stomachs to be a pump for water. And we can't pump it, anything out of it, because we drink too large of liquid. You were designed, all humans and animals were designed to run on beautiful running stream water. I showed you a picture of it when I first started. And I'm not kidding. But most people won't drink out of a stream nowadays. You know why? Because they don't know what's in it. They don't know. Hold on, let me get it there. What's, uh, if you're downstream, what's getting in the water upstream? <laughs> so I'm gonna make it at my faucet where I know it's fresh, I know the ingredients, and I know what's coming out of it. So if your stomach is a pump and you put water in it, it'll flow out to every inch of your body, including the largest organ. Your skin, when those minerals and nutrients get to your skin. Uh, I had heart surgery when I was four, four years old. I have a scar from here all the way up to my top of my shoulder blade on my left side. My brother had the same thing. He was three years older. We had it three days apart. We shared this really ugly brown scar for years and years until I got the water machine 13 years ago, started drinking it, and it started carrying the nutrition out to my skin. I never put any kind of lotion or moisturizer. My skin is always wet. Fun fact, I've been in the sun for 13 years now without a drop of of uh, sunscreen on. And I'm from Southern California. I had to put nose coat on. I'm Irish, Scottish, and Welsh by heritage. When you hydrate your skin, the sun bounces right off of it. When you're dry, it burns you right to the bone. I mean, literally right through your layers of skin. That's where blistering, peeling. Yes, I'll change color, but I will not burn. And so my scar now is going, it, it, it's the same color as my skin. If you want to repair the outside of your body, you have to get the liquid and the nutrients from the inside of your body out. So we encourage people. The machine makes the water. You have your own fountain of youth at your faucet. You can cook with it. Makes cleaning waters. Makes toner. Unbelievable. And we can share it because you own the bottling plant. That's what I've been doing for 13 years. I sell nothing. <laughs> I just say, hey, Rochelle, you're my neighbor. Hey, I got a new appliance at my house. It's called my fountain of youth at the faucet. I'm supposed to let people try it and get their feedback. Would you mind trying it for a few days? I'll give you a gallon or two a day and let you drink it and give me your feedback. Sure, Craig, no problem. Free, yeah. I mean, if you go to the store, go to Whole Foods, they charge about $3 a gallon for the same type of water. They have an $8,000 commercial water machine there. So wait a minute, you might even be getting it at Whole Foods. And I go, no, 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 no. I'll let you try it. And then you drink the water and you come back with the most amazing stories. I won't repeat the stories for 13 years because I'll get in trouble. But I will tell you, anybody that came in to me with a really serious health condition showed so much improvement, they had to go talk to their doctor. Because when they told me, Craig, did this fix my problem? I don't know what you're talking about, Rochelle. <laughs> go to the doctor and ask them, right? So think about that. Osteoporosis means the minerals are not getting out of our stomach and into our cells and in, into in, in our bones. Do you know when your blood is supposed to be 7.365 pH? That's what it has to be. When it's starved for minerals, it starts to lower. And what the body does, it'll steal all the minerals from your bones, your teeth, your hair, your fingernails. Your, the body will rob it because if your body drops too low in blood pH, you will drop dead. I mean, done. And you know, we're all dehydrated, folks. If you know anybody that's ever gone in an ambulance, the first thing they do when they come pick you up is they put a yeah and a half bag because they know we're clinically dehydrated in America. 95% of Americans are considered clinically dehydrated. I don't want, I don't like IV needles, guys. I don't like needles at all. So I think I'll just drink. I'm going to do what nature does. We were designed to kneel in a stream and ingest this beautiful mineral rich, hydrogen rich water that passes right into our system and gets us hydrated. And by the way, they didn't have sunscreen thousands of years ago for human beings. They didn't make sunscreen. Guess what they did? They drank natural water and hydrated their skin. So our focus tonight is education. We're educating you. We all grew up, no matter what age you are, if you're between born and 70 years old, we all grew up drinking faucet water, tap water, unless we grew up in the country like I'm at with the 
running water out in the backyard. And what, what happens? We're not absorbing it. And when we stop absorbing water, we become dehydrated. And then we end up burning it. And the health picture goes down. We let people try the water and the health picture comes up. So what I'm hoping is now, the beauty of our machine is we can make the water at home, but if I go to work, we actually have a unit called an H2 fuel that you can put the hydrogen back in. Look at that. Because the fastest thing that comes out of our water is the hydrogen. It's a gas, just like um, soda going flat. That's why you always want to drink our water out of a sealed container. Take a sip, put the cover on. That way the hydrogen stays in there and just turn it like this. And there's the hydrogen back in there, just like that. And the beauty of that is we took the same type of technology and we have our laundry unit. Liddy talked about it. That hooks to your washer, uses the same kind of technology. It fills the water with these friendly oxidizers, hydro, hydrogen peroxide, hydroxyls. And my clothes have it, my clothes, my towels, and my bedding have not touched hot water or detergent for 17 years. The owner of the company was a nut job when he said what it would do until I hooked it up. And by the way, those are the same towels, folks. Those are washed with detergent multiply, the short stack. Same towels washed with our unit, no detergent, no hot water, three inches taller and no lint from that leftover detergent crystallizing in the dryer. I love water and I love when you research water, you find out we're almost 80% water in our bodies. Babies are 95% water when they're born. That's why you can take a baby's arm. Their skulls don't even form solid until they're almost five years old. So we're 95% water when we're born and when we die, we're about 55% water. Do not put yourself on a slow glide path. We call that the glide path of a brick, like a space shuttle, right? This doesn't glide, it's going like this, constantly dehydrated until your body just gives up. How about we keep the hydration going, hyperhydrate, and you'll see people that are in their 70s and 80s with more energy and imagine. The older somebody is that you know, get them, get this water in them and look for their feedback. They're gonna, I have a joke, I say, you'll feel like you're 19 again, only smarter. <laughs> and by the way, the only water that will fit through the blood brain barrier is not stagnant pond water, it's structured water. That's the only size water that will pass freely through the blood brain barrier with the hydrogen going in. The energy level is unbelievable. Get off the energy drinks, get off the coffees, get off the, the drinks, the sugary drinks to get you um, energy. They're not, they actually sap energy. We're putting real natural energy in the, in the, in the water. So I want to thank you guys. I'm hoping you learned something tonight about how water acts in the body and how energy is transferred. And I want to thank Liddy and Steve and Lori for allowing me to come. My passion is educating people on water. And I'm, I'm hoping that it resonated with some of you on the call tonight. Steve, thank you, Steve. And I want to actually ask a couple questions. If you ready, what is the best water pH to be drinking? And if they can have a place to start um, as they hook up the simple technology, would you talk about how simple it is to hook up and uh, where to start? Thank you. Yes, it's so easy. The machine comes pre-built except for the hose because they let us decide our hose length. I always make them longer than they need to be. I can roll it up because sometimes when I go to hook it up somewhere, it's further away than, I, than it was at my house. So we have 8.5 is what everyone starts at. You do not want to start at nine or 9.5 because if you start at 9.5, your body will go, Liddy, did you really want us to get rid of everything today? Like right now? No, I don't want everything to come out today. So when you go 8.5, it slowly detoxifies you. And then after about a week, you can try to go to nine. And if you don't notice any strong detox and that can be different for people a little bit why the body's pushing all the poison out through the skin, through the elimination system. It's just amazing what happens. And so it's very easy. It just screws onto any faucet. You can even put it on its own faucet on the side or onto the existing faucet. I have a, I cheat, I have a carrying case for mine and I travel everywhere with it because I can hook it up. But I, I also bought one for every one of my family members. So when I go visit, I don't have to drag all my water, air and laundry with me. It's already there. <laughs> and they say, thank you so much. What a gift. And I go, no, I don't want to drag all my stuff to your house. So I'm just getting you some. So when I go, it's just for me. I'm just leaving it. I'm just leaving it at your house so you can use it too. So 8.5, about a week later and a gallon a day, folks, you'll laugh at me, but I'm not kidding you. 
You start off in the morning, drink as much as you can. You greet the machine. Hello, fountain of youth at my faucet. Will you please make me young today? Then I drink as much as I can fresh. Then I fill up a container and I start all the rest of the day. You'll be shocked water you can get through. The, the more you take it seriously, Liddy, the faster it works in the body. Two cups is not going to do what a gallon does. So you want to push towards that, that half an ounce or one ounce per pound of body weight. Thank you. And yes. so there are some other products in the marketplace. Would you say something about how maybe this is different and how sure. um, the, the parts of the product, which are unique, if you speak to the uniqueness? Thank you. Yes, so let me show you, just so you know, the number one that they consider the number one unit in the world as far as, because it's a medical device, I don't need a medical device, but if you probably heard of it, if you haven't, it's called a Kangen machine. They're actually a certified medical device in Japan and Canada. They use plates, which is the old technology from 47 years ago. So what is different? We own the patent on our machine. It's called direct disc ionization. We're not using big plate to be cleaned on a regular basis so their machine is very high tech uh, it's a medical device so their wa their filters alone are 150 dollars for one <laughs> ours are less than half of that almost a third of that and we replace two filters so they pre-filter the water before it goes into the engine the other problem is when we make um our super waters that's our uh water that's cleaner degreaser or our sterilizing water we can use salt pellets and a cartridge that we put in that you can put the salt in and guess what dry salt and it makes this super waters with their unit you have to buy these liquid by the case from them it's very expensive so if you want to make a lot of the waters like all the professional teams have our unit because they didn't like the fact they had to buy million gallons worth of this saline solution and keep pouring it in you can go buy the salt pellets for about about ten dollars for four ounces, and so I love it. I can bring this with me, and I can make the super waters. What is that? The high oxygen water is good for soaking your feet. It's for cuts. It's for scrapes. It's a, a disinfectant, and the high alkaline water is like a cleaner degreaser. It'll actually remove pesticides from the outside of your food just by, and it makes it right from the machine. I got rid of all my chemicals in my house, Liddy, because I don't need chemicals anymore. Because my machine will make a bleach type water all the way to a degreaser water and everything in between. And by the way, animals love the 8.5 and the plants love the 5.5. That's what they like. They like the slightly acidic rainwater and the animals go nuts. I just had a, Liddy, one of my guys just got a machine two weeks ago out in California. He was really constipated. I mean, this guy weighed over 300 pounds. He was gonna go to the doctor. Everything was messed up in his guts. He got the machine, he hooked it up. He called me up, Craig, five times in the bathroom. And he goes, I think I lost 10 pounds. And he goes, wow. Then he gave it to his animals. One was a small animal dog and the other one was a large dog. Within three days, he said, the ones that used to have to be helped to get up on the couch were running around like puppies, were chasing each other. Remember, when you hydrate properly, it's a youth factor. It's an anti-aging factor. So we tell people, drink as much as you want. The more, the more you drink, the younger you look. Thank you, Craig. And you know what, uh, this past weekend I was in Chicago and I brought some 5.5 in some little spray bottles and gave it to the women. And uh, so if you will speak to that, yes, would you speak to the 5.5? So remember what I said, if you've ever run out in the rain, I love to go out when it's raining. I'm from Southern California. That's a desert. When it rains there, <laughs> we all run out. We strip down to whatever is legal in the area and start because... Rainwater goes right into your skin. It's, it's the same pH as your skin, about 5.5. So what we're doing with our 5.5 button right here, it's a yellow screen, and it makes it. So you spray that on your skin, it soaks right in. The hair, the only pH of water that will pass through the outside of your hair follicle and soak in is 5.5. Eye wash and eye drops, unbelievable. Women, Lydia, I told you this before. Women, when you watch a commercial that's for feminine hygiene products, they all say pH balance. That means they took tap water, seven pH, and they lowered it to 5.5. That's what we make. It can be used anywhere on the body, externally. You can gargle with it. It's really good if you have a sore throat or you get hoarse, you can gargle with it. And it super hydrates. It goes right in. 
So this is amazing. And you can make better than Estee Lauder right from your faucet and give it away to anybody. Just like Lydia, I've given this to people who had poison ivy and, and they, they, had, they had rash and they sprayed it on and sprayed it on. And all of a sudden sunburn, like second degree burn where you just like that, that, you know, when you get really burned that protect the outside, you spray this on and it makes it just like putting solar cane on, but it's water made from the machine. It's just amazing. So many different, nine different pHs of water we can make. Plant lovers, wait till you look up the pH of the plant you love, indoor plant or outdoor, and you match the pH from the water machine and put it on it. You'll watch your plant just thrive like never before. We can love on our plants. We can love on us. We can love on our plants. We can love on our pets. Uh, I love the fact that, you know what, there's so many great options, but learning this, and that's why we have these calls is to help you understand the power that lies within one piece of equipment and a source that we all need and to hydrate. And so um, I'm thinking a little bit about what you said about the laundry um, and not having quantum ammonium in our fi fabric. In the quantum ammonium, you think about that as a toxin, we wear it, our blood has to flush it. If we're dehydrated, we have a cesspool internally. And, uh, you know, Craig, all the things that we're talking about here, you know, the passion for a company to bring out the best of the best. Um, one thing I've learned is somebody asked, well, what if I like ice in my water? I said, well, drink it as best uh, room temperature, as best as cool as you can. If that's your best, do your best. But if you have to add ice, I was talking to uh, Dr. Troy today, and he said, if you have to serve it and you're serving it for guests and you want ice in there, then he said, put 9.0 because your ice cubes probably are not hydrogenated cubes. So there's a thought. I want to say something. Little let me add to that. I, but here's the problem, guys. If you just look it up, your stomach cannot allow cold or hot to pass through it. Otherwise, you could you could basically get hypothermia. If you've ever eaten an ice cream and got brain freeze, it's the same thing. You're putting cold to the roof of your mouth and it's hitting your brain and you're like, oh my God, it's a pain like you can't believe until, and everyone just stops everything until it goes away. That's because there you can pass right through. When your stomach gets hot or cold beverages, here's what it has to do. Waste all the energy by flooding the stomach around it with blood, it won't let that water pass out. I don't care if it's our water or not. You make it too cold, the stomach goes, uh-uh. I have to warm it up to body temperature. Otherwise, you could go into hypothermia or hyperthermia. That's too hot or too cold. That's why I grew up in the Southern California. I went out in the ocean, even at 45 degrees and rode waves with a wetsuit on. But as your body gets chilled to the core, you can die. I mean, that's the problem. So why you don't want to do too hot or too cold of beverages, the body has to waste all that resource to warm it up, put surround it with blood, and then it limits the amount that can be actually absorbed in the body. As much as it sounds weird, room temperature all the way. When it comes out of the machine, I just start drinking it. You can feel the difference. When you make it cold, it's so slowly, all, not a lot of it gets out of your stomach. But when you drink it at the at just same as being outside, when you're outside and you drink water out of a stream, it's the temperature of outside. That range could be 70, 90 degrees, 98. But once you get above 100 or below probably 50 degrees cold, the body goes, what, do you, what am I supposed to do with this? I cannot absorb it, Liddy. So be conscious of what your body needs. Not what you feel like, oh, when it's hot out, it's better to put this in and get hydrated than it is to get that cold feeling. That really doesn't help you. And it doesn't let the water absorb. So I'd recommend trying it the first week uh, boringly at the room temperature and then try it doing it cold and you realize that's that that absorption rate just slows way down and you're defeating the purpose hydrogen and all the nutrients out into every cell because you're actually slowing it down at the stomach. Thank you. Uh, Craig, I know that we have some athletes that are on the call as well and I know that um, you know energy is everything and so if the body has to bring the energy inward rather than having go outward is what you're talking about is that yes. the body has to accommodate you. So if it is that um, you're looking at it from, from a sports, you're thinking about any kind of activity um, to drink that so-called room temperature water is better for the body so that it can actually 
um, not have uh, blood vessel constriction, which means is that that's called performance. So you want to put some thoughts around that. Liddy, I do outside events. And when it's hot, hot out, I did the Hoops for Peace for three years in a row. That's Kevin Durant's event in Seat Pleasant, Maryland, the, the world champion basketball player. They have this outdoor tournament, Liddy. So what I did was I took a small igloo and I put tubing in it that the water would pass through. Then you can throw ice on it just to cool it down a little bit from being really hot. But I'm not putting ice on the water. I'm just making a little bit cooler, but not to the point where it'll be a problem. I mean, we figure it out, but get this. Um, just so you know, I've had the honor and privilege of introducing this to, that's Gary Russell Jr. in the middle. He was the world champion boxer, WBC world champ at 126. There he is with our H2 fuel right in his hands. 2015, seven years he's had the water machine. This guy didn't know what structured water was. That's Mo Hamid Shiraz, Mr. Virginia, 2005. I brought the water to him. He fell in love with it. Now he drinks two gallons a day like me. That guy is 64 years old, Liddy. He swears by the water and he knew nothing about this. He Every time I see him again, he says, thanks, Craig, for introducing that. Michael Johnson, the world champion track. There's Dr. right there. World champion track athlete, um, one of the most decorated track and field athletes in the history of U.S. Olympics. He's got our water at his training facility. There's Jamie Anderson. She's won more X Games medals than any other athlete. I think she's at 21 X Games medals. She's won gold medals at the Olympics, world championships. She swears by the water for 10 years. Muscle Farm in Dallas, Texas. That's one of the highest level training facilities in the world. They train every type of athlete. They swear by the water. That letter right there is a Letter by them, ESPN for the X Games, love the water. We've got letters, Liddy, that we can get people from all these teams, from the Nats to the Reds to the Cardinals to the Rangers to the raving about the natural anti-inflammatory capability. So remember, it's not about getting in an athletes. We love athletes, but they're usually in really good shape. So they will notice a good difference. It's about getting in a grandma and Aunt Sue and whoever you have that's suffering, try the water. What it, won't hurt them and help them. And when somebody, Lydia, I always say this, when you, when you give it to super athlete and they notice the difference, everyone goes, whatever, they're already in super shape. But if you give it to grandma who can't get up out of her wheelchair and all of a sudden grandma is full of energy and loves it. When you change that person in a family, you get everybody's attention. So I, I go for the, the one that's got the most problems and we try to resolve it by just giving them water. And if they get any benefit whatsoever, it's so noticeable. Women, the skin change is unbelievable when you hydrate from the inside out. Lines disappear. Cellulite is melted right underneath the skin. It's unbelievable. All the women within two weeks of drinking this give me feedback. It just sounds amazing, like, like it's crazy talk, but they go, it changes their whole outlook on everything. The energy level is unbelievable. I'm not kidding. You feel like you're 19 again, only smarter. Literally, you're like, wow, where is this energy coming from? And that's the energy we had when we were kids. When we'd eat when we're children, our mom would feed us and throw us because all that fat that she put in your body that's from cheese and whatever would get turned into energy because our body would be alkaline. It would be ability to burn it. As we get older, we store that fat and we don't remember all that energy. Well, when it comes back, you'll realize, wow, I don't remember getting this much energy from eating my you know, lunch before or my dinner. That's where it comes from. So change your water, change your life. That's what we say. Love it. I think you've said everything there is to say, Craig, and that is start your day and end your day. And that is the way. And that is water. And then it's the quality of the air that you breathe. And we know that if you can take the enemy out of the camp, and that means flush it out, that means that you win. And that's, you know, living in harmony with what is called nature. I love the fact that we're really talking about technology that mimics nature. And that is exactly what this is about. So I thank you all for being on the call this evening. Thank you for being the invitation for those that have actually been the extension of those you love to come to the call. So thank you um, guests for being here and pass it on. So we are here every Wednesday. You can continue to dial in and we will bring greater education to you as the weeks pass. So thank you all. Craig, again, blessings Thanks. to you. My Craig, pleasure, did Libby. you say, Craig, did you say it makes nine different waters? Nine different waters. Yeah, it makes 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, 
11.5 with the salt cartridge, that's on one side, seven, and then 5.5, four, and 2.5, which is the super water. So that's nine, nine different waters out of one machine. All have different uses, all really good uses, just depends on what you do. The athletes soak their feet in the super oxygen water, which just controls bacteria of all kinds. You just soak them, maybe 15 minutes a night for a couple of nights in a row. And like I said, it is an antiseptic. It smells like bleach. I'm not kidding you. Tap water and you add salt and run it through the machine. And when you smell it, you go, wow, it smells like Clorox, but I'm making it with just water. There's no chemical content. There's no residual. But if I spray that water on Liddy's kitchen counter or a wood cutting board, it'll go down in that wood and sterilize it. You can't sterilize a wood cutting board with anything else except for water that will go down in the nooks and crannies and just get rid of it. So it's great for cleaning the kitchen, for cleaning uh, meat cutting equipment and all that. So yeah, nine different waters from one machine. This is an appliance that you will find you can't live without. Uh, Craig, is, is that list inside the uh, water machine itself that lists all nine waters? Yeah, actually, nine. Liddy's got the list. Uh, um, let me show you the pictures of which we can get you. And each page talks about the different, I'll show you it um, really quickly. And what what that does is just tell us what different waters it will make and what they're used for. And it tells all the different things. So Liddy um, can get you the list. It looks like this, it's got the front here and then each page we can get you. And it just tells all the different usage. It's amazing, once you, if you only use it to drink, you're missing out. I'm telling you right now, if you don't try the skin water for the 5.5, if you don't, if you don't try the, um, the I'm not kidding you, the, the high alkaline water will take grease and right off, you can clean windows with it. I've got professional cleaners that use our two super waters with the salt cartridge and they clean everything with it and they don't buy chemicals. Imagine right now, Liddy, you know this, how many businesses are buying thousands of dollars of extra chemicals to spray all over everything, a gym or a preschool. I don't want my kid to have all over the counters and the desk. How about if they just make this water, you put it in a one gallon or two gallon pump sprayer like for the, like for the garden. And you just go around and spray it on everything. You go in your bathroom and spray it on the walls and the counters and just let it dry. And it will, it's just like the lady from Poltergeist at the end that goes, this house is clean. <laughs> That's what happens. And everything, uh, and you, if you listen really closely, you can hear all those little things screaming and crying because you spray that water on and it's, uh, it's all done but the crying. So we want people to understand the unit is designed to get rid of all the nasty stuff in your house Get rid of all the things in your body that aren't doing you any good and make you absorb nutrition like never before. So you've got this tool, this appliance that just, it's unbelievable when you learn how everything works, the more you use from the machine, the bigger the value is. And so I tell people, ring it out, get, use everything you can out of that machine because get the value, it's value added. By the way, a thousand dollars per person per in the household. So you're already, in, everyone you know is already spending the money this would cost in the first year they just discount $5,000 minus the cost of the machine. The next year, there is, no, there is no money they're spending on junk that poisons you. You replace it. By the way, the number one killer, one of the number one killers of teenage boys now is energy drinks. They're drinking two or three of these in a row, like the equivalent of 60 cups of coffee and the caffeine. And they're having strokes because, you know, teenage boys, you know what? I have three sons. You know what the famous last words, Liddy, of teenage boys are? Hold this or watch this. That's it. I mean, watch me drink two energy drinks, boom, right on the ground. So let's get these kids back to God's natural hydration with water that's good for them. It doesn't have sugar, doesn't have caffeine, doesn't have all this other junk in it that was does nothing for you but harm you. Let's teach children what water's like. We we all grew up drinking out. I drink up drinking out of hoses. If I tried to get my make my kids or my grandkids drink out of hoses, now I'd be arrested for child abuse. We're all we're outside. Yeah, the hose water. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> drinks out of hose anymore. Let's give them good water. Are those brochures available in bulk? No. Uh, what you have to do is you have to print them up because I don't know that that one's available. But we can get you. Lydia and I have the actual copies of it, and you can just print them out and have them collated probably and do something like that. Because I don't know how to get the booklet anymore. They came, 
remember I've been around a long time with this. This isn't my first rodeo. So um, we can get you the pictures though that, that, that make that whole booklet. And then you can just make them up and get them to people. Well, I like to send things electronically nowadays because you know I don't want to kill too many trees. So if we can, we like to send them out where people can just look at them on you know on their computer or whatever and read them and then send them out the same way. But yes, we can send you something where you can print it. Liddy's, I think Liddy's got copies of Sudwa. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much, Craig. You're just awesome. And, you know, you give us so much value and we're learning and really excited to learn. I've made some changes in just what you've taught us in the last few weeks. Um, I have a spray bottle in the morning after I, I, I spray my face with the 5.5. I also have a pitcher and when I brush my teeth, I'm filling up a little cup and rinsing my mouth out after I brush my teeth. And then also after I wash my hair, um, I'm using the 5.5 over my hair. So, yeah. And the cleaner degreaser, Lori, when you use the salt cartridge and make the high alkaline, you hit 10 and the upper hose makes it to 11.5. Put that in your hair first. It'll strip all the grease and oil out of the hair without any chemicals. So then you clean your body and then rinse with the 5.5. I've had women that had the mousiest, thinnest hair for their whole life. They call me up and go, oh my God, after a week, my hair is so full. Everyone's noticing it. Well, of course I want everyone to notice it. So they want to get their own uh, uh, fountain of youth at their faucet. So remember, it's all about using all the technology. Think about this. Whenever, if you've ever seen an opera singer, they have an atomizer, they spray down their throat. What do you think is in it? 5.5 pH, that's what's in it. Because that will soak right into the, your vocal cords are the easiest thing in your body to dehydrate. That's why you go hoarse, right? I do trade shows for nine hours a day for a week at a time sometimes. I never lose my voice because I'm hydrating my vocal cords. If you know anybody that sings for a living or sings for fun, um, we have singers that say they gain an, a half an octave high and low just by, just by hydrating their vocal cords. It's amazing what happens um, when you hydrate your body completely your muscles, your tendons, your bones, everything just gets so flexible. Anybody that has a family member that's pregnant or planning on getting pregnant, my daughter um, had my grandson and she let me know she was two months pregnant. I, she got a machine and she started drinking it. She had her first baby in two hours and not a stretch mark on her body, not one, anywhere. Because when you hydrate your skin, it's very flexible like a rubber band. When it's dry, it will tear, no episiotomy, two-hour delivery on the first child, and no stretch marks. Get this water in anybody that's either wanting to have kids or in the middle of being pregnant. It's also really good for the baby. All that nutrients get to the baby also. I'm a big, I mean, I have four kids, and I have two grandkids, and I love children. Anything we can do to improve the quality of life for children, that's important with this. And of course, if you get kids drinking water, the parents will get it because they Oh, my, my kid doesn't want to drink soda or Sunny Delight anymore or anything like that. No, they love the water. They'll line up for the water. So get that they actually enjoy. And then we, then if they want to have a soda once in a while, that's fine, I guess. I don't recommend it. But, but if they're drinking 95% is this super water, we're going to make people more healthy. They're going to have a fuller, better life, and they'll be healthy and not have a lot of long-term problems in the future. So just think of others. If you share the water, that's all I do is think of others every day. And I try to improve the quality of their life without anything attached to it. It's about helping them first, solving the problem. And then if they need something, we have these technologies available, right, Liddy? Yeah, Craig, yeah. I heard you uh, compare this water to the water in the well of Zam Zam. Yes. So that's what my, um, well, I've done, well, I've been doing shows for 13 years with this water. And I gave it to one lady who grew up in Fiji. And she looked at everybody at the table because at my table, I have 20 people standing in front of it drinking free water. <laughs> they will try out. And so she said, I, I grew up in Fiji and we didn't get our water from a faucet. We went and got it in containers from a waterfall right down the road. And she said, this is the closest to waterfall water. And then my Persian friends, my, um, my Iranian friends, they all go, this is Zamzam water. In other words, that's Abraham's original water, right? That's a, it's almost Garden of Eden water. That's basically what it is. We're just recreating natural water. So we're taking what's available to us, to all of us, 
and we're converting it into something that our body can use. Just like the old days where people were at the stream to, to fill up, we're able to make that right at your faucet. Any faucet you can hook it to anywhere in the world. I've been all over the place, Liddy, with my machine. And then wherever I screw it on, I get the same quality, same taste, same activity in the body. So I love it that I can take it anywhere with me. And I always have my favorite beverage there. And I don't have to ever run out. I don't go, oh, no, they're out of a sin shit at Walmart. I have to try aqua hydrate. I've never done that. No, this stuff is poison. So how about I just make my same beverage that I make myself and it's fresh. I don't like weak old bread, Lydia. I like fresh bread. So how about fresh water? Just like juice that you make it and you drink it and your body goes, ah. <laughs> Craig? Yes. Hey, I have a, a tip for anyone that wants a pristine brochure with that information about how to use the high and the low pH. <clears throat> you simply buy the living water and it comes with it and then make your copies. That would be my recommendation. And then I had a question for you about the salt container that you have. Yep. Uh, I've not seen that in our back office and was curious where it's hiding. That Steve, it's hiding from you. I just have to tell you where to find it. So as with any gold mine, I have to give you the map. So go to the water, water supplies, back page. It says there's no image available. It's called the refillable saline cartridge. It actually, the top comes off to fill it. See, I got the pellets right inside there. And it's back second page under water supplies, the refillable saline cartridge. They're very reasonable money. I think it's 30 bucks, something like that. But think about that. That's all I have to have. And then this stuff, you know, that's um, $10 for a 40 pound bag at Home Depot for it's salt pellets for a soft water system. And you're in business. I highly recommend Steve net right next to that, getting the large bottle. Because remember, I'm demoing this all the time, Steve. So if you haven't gotten it yet, let me show you. I can find it here. That is the industrial strength bottle size of the pH drops. And that's right next to it. I recommend that. Then I can refill my own container because I do a lot of demos. So I'm burning through a lot. But why is this important, guys? Because when you first get the machine, you want to test your incoming water to make sure it's around seven. Then you can also test the water to make sure it matches the color of the screen. As you put the level, it'll, it'll match that color. If it doesn't, then you can adjust it. There's a plus and minus over here to calibrate it a little bit. So that's right next to it, Steve. I recommend that if you didn't get it. And then right next to that is the saline cartridge. And then once you get it, if you need to call me, but it's very easy, you fill it up. It replaces the second, let me pull this off real quick. This, the one here is position two filter. That's right. number one on the outside. You pop that out, you put the other one in its place, you hit 10 and out of the top comes the, the 11.5 and out of the bottom comes the, um, it smells like bleach. If it smells like bleach, you know you did it right because it will be like, whoa, Clorox. So there's the two, they're hiding on that second page in the, under the ordering for water supplies. So I hope that Thank helped you, you out. So, so you. Craig, there, there is that little, that little thing on the top that you put salt in, right? Yes, ma'am. So let me show everybody that since you just asked, it's really easy. It comes with the salt port up here. That's also the clean port. And see, this little one can be filled to, whoops, dropped it, a little slippery. You fill it right to the top with, with uh, sea salt has a key so you have to put it down and spin it till it drops in but the problem with that Lori it only makes about a, a pint it doesn't make very much it's designed for small usage I don't go small on anything that I do so I get the big one so I can make like a lot of it you want to soak your feet you can't use this one you gotta get enough to make a gallon or two so and, and then the cleaning is very easy for the machine there's a cleaning kit and you do it once every 10,000 liters or um, you did that in there once every 10,000 liters or one year, whichever comes first. And of course, when you're given a lot of water lake, like I do, I'm usually cleaning the machine every three or four months. But let me tell you, it's worth it. When you change somebody's whole picture and health outlook and help them to learn how to do it themselves. We're not doctors. We don't claim to be doctors. We just teach them how to improve the health by having the technology of the water the laundry, the air, their whole house protected, the personals. I mean, we. what I love about our company is I've taken this to shows, guys, where people went, 
what are you doing at this show? I don't care what that is. And I go, uh, Liddy, do you drink water, breathe air, do laundry and have a power bill? And you do you like nutritional products that are high end? Yeah, okay, you're my people. So we, you could drop me anywhere with this technology and it's so universally needed that we don't have to explain why we're there. We just say, who wants to try my, my living water and who wants to find out about our technology? So we don't sell, we share. When they, when they get it, you'll see it. You can see the light bulb come on. Liddy, you've been doing shows and everything. The light bulb comes on and I know they get it. If they don't, I just have to educate them more and let them try it because some people are a little slower to the, to the game. But that's why our whole business model always been let people try it. Solve the problem first, Liddy, and then they know how to solve it. If they want to go back to doing what doesn't work, they'll come back going, you know what? I'm sick of drinking the junk again. After trying your water, I need it. We've saved up our pennies, whatever. But I mean, let them solve the problem, and then then they'll they'll be uh, curious. I didn't need to. Once I drank the water, I knew I was getting this. And then and then after that, I just so I was compelled. It saved. I told you it saved my son's life. Seven year old, five times a day nebulizing to keep him alive. Two weeks on the water, and it just changed his whole life. Our whole life. No more four hours. Every getting up, my wife and I am nebulizing our son to keep alive. And it, God spoke to me. I don't know about you guys. I believe in God. And God spoke to me and said, listen, that water, that natural God-made water just changed your son's entire life. If you keep it a secret, we're going to have a problem. I'm going, no, I'm not keeping it secret. Not going to keep it secret. So remember that. Is that our goal is to let everyone try it. We don't have to sell it. The, the technology will definitely move itself. We just have to be, well, this is a dating service. I get to in, introduce somebody to it. If they get along, great. Maybe in the future, they have, right? So our goal is educate and let people test things out. And if you solve the problem first, then, then, they, then now they have a decision to make. Do I want to go down the path of being unhealthy or do I want to go down the health path? And remember what I said about the water unit. They're already spending the money. A family of four or five is spending four or $5,000 a year on poison. Why don't we just redirect a little bit of that? And the first year, we're, we're still ahead. And then every year after that, they can go on a cruise every year with the whole family on the money they used to go down the drain. So remember, we don't sell it. We share it. We change things for them. We prove their quality of life. And then they have a choice to make. Do we want to you know, do this for our family and our household or not? But we don't get involved in that. That's their decision, right, Liddy? Our job is to educate and introduce. We don't force it anybody this is not the game that we play we just introduce it to everybody and the ones that get it get it the ones that don't don't and craig um i bought the water you. testing kit from the uh and it came in a big box you know and it's in the uh tubes and i opened up it, it was a big box of stuff the water testing kit are you familiar with that testing or cleaning that, no, it, it, I think it was like a, 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 a tools for like 